Welcome to episode six fifty seven. Katie Roden and Kathy Fields, women skincare billionaires. This is an outline of episode six fifty seven. There are three reasons we study Katie Roden and Kathy Fields. First, they started thirty one years ago. Second, they are both dermatologists with private practice, and they are also college professors. Third, for the first five years as a startup, they met nothing but rejections. Let us meet Katie Roden and Kathy Fields. Thirty years ago, there was Mary Kay, and there was Mway. Future. What that means is that anti-aging skincare is on everybody's mind, and that translates to big business. With your help, we're out to own the anti-aging skincare market by providing products that really work, without a prescription or a visit to the dermatologist's office. The best way to do that is to partner with people like you—people who see the huge opportunity here that we see. Now, how it all began: the two dermatologists met at Stanford Hospital. As residents, they were in their late twenties. After finishing Stanford as young doctors in private practice, Katie Roden was born in California in 1955. She graduated with a degree in history. After that, she earned her M.D. from University of Southern California. She is Jewish and she is the elder spokeswoman. Kathy Fields, three years younger. Earn her M.D. from University of Miami. Nothing but rejections for the first five years. We don't have any money. So as you said, it was Neutrogena. So we CEO said his name was Alan Kurtzman, and very sorry, but we've decided to pass on the opportunity. So I was crushed. I gathered. Can you imagine the two of us are sitting there crying on the phone, and it was devastating because here we were. Okay, five years. All the money that we had put into this, we bring it to Neutrogena. Not all was lost. Neutrogena CEO suggested they sell on infomercial, and that was a big、Case. success. Now you'd never go this far in a job interview. You could be 15 years old with your first blemish, or you could be my age. Hi, I'm Judith Light. Acne is a problem no matter how old you are. I wanted to hide or cover up. And if you have acne, you know the desperation, and you'll try. By 1992, the two were multi-millionaires. This is their product, Proactive, and this is how it is sold today. They would launch next business, Roden and Fields, specializing in premium skin care. A year later, in 2003, Roden and Fields was sold to Estee Lauder. And their product was sold in department stores. In 2007, the two bought back Roden and Fields and changed the business model to multi-layer marketing. Oh, but direct selling! You may be skeptical, and that's okay. We were too. But once we set our preconceptions aside, we discover that direct selling is not only a legitimate business model, but the only way to help so many people get access to dermatologic skincare. Now the two doctors are getting very wealthy. The three hundred thousand consultants, yes, three hundred thousand of them. On average, they are not doing that well. Their annual income is slightly over three thousand dollars a year. Some call it a pyramid scheme. Okay, and then the legal pyramid, which I guess is what Ronan Fields is,、uh, it value fl- value flows downwards. No, it doesn't. Everyone gets something of value out of the business.、Um, there is a product, yep, and it's very expensive. The price of the product is fair for the price charged. See, that's recruiting hundreds of other salespeople. There are inherent sustainability issues in play. In 2019, Katie Roden joined the Forbes list of billionaires for the first time with a net worth of 1.5 billion dollars. Her partner Kathy Fields also has a net worth of 1.5 billion dollars. What have I learned today? The road to billionaires for the two women dermatologists was a long and winding road that took 31 years.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Katie Roden and Kathy Fields, 10 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.